Hey guys, Rollout here with another Crash beat -em on Let's Build, and you know what that means. Today is finally the day that I've gotten a hold of a brand new Mega Grenade. This is easily one of the most rare and sought after Crash beat -em on items, and I have been looking for one sealed for literal years so that I could build it on camera. But my buddy Slash West helped me secure one on Yahoo Japan Auction, and here it is. Now, you will recall that some time ago, Beatablader95 also sold me his used Mega Grenade, which means I have the opportunity to show off two of these things combining together. And if you know anything about this accessory, that's pretty special and kind of insane. So I'm very excited for that, but first, uh, let's take a quick look at the packaging. It's in really, really good condition, which is nice. I suppose this was just in storage for years. There you can see it's attached to Justice Ifrit. This is exclusive to that beat -em on in the anime, but it's got some excellent features that just kind of break the entire system. You can kind of keep stacking crash weapons on top of it into infinity, and uh, that should be fun to take a look at. But without further ado, let's stop avoiding the inevitable. Make sure that gets on camera, cause that is crazy. Not every day <laughs> you see the seal broken on a mega grenade. There's no going back, boys. So, here we have the nice, crisp sticker sheet and instructions. Let's open this up first, I suppose. What's this? There's like a little... Is this like a little flyer in here for something? I don't know what that's for. Set that off to the side. These are kind of folded strangely, don't know what that's about. Very tiny, very wee instructions. We might take a look at those in just a second. And of course, here, if I can get my fingers on it, is the sticker sheet. And then all that's left, believe it or not, is uh, just a couple of very simple sprues and that's it. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. Big whoop, right? Well, people lose their minds over this thing. If it's so much as used on a Yahoo Japan auction lot, uh, people will buy the whole thing, no questions asked, just for this. It is crazy. I honestly don't recall how Slash and I were able to get our hands on this so easily. We basically bid on it without a hitch. I guess we just got lucky. It might not seem like a whole lot, but uh, trust me, it is. So here we've got all of our pieces cut off the runner and ready to go. Still looking slightly unimpressive, but that's beside the point. It's worth mentioning that you don't get any ammunition with this, so you are going to need to pick up this set as well, the Crash Bullet Shot 1. You get a Speed Bomb, a Heavy Bomb, and a couple of normal bombs here that you can use with the Mega Grenade. So, this should be pretty simple, but uh, knowing my track record with Crash Beat'em on Let's Builds, there's always some way to mess it up. We're going to take these hold parts and put those in there. And then I think we take the trigger in this ring here and that just kind of slides on there for now. And then this goes in there just like that. I think we have to slide this out so that we have enough room to attach the top section now. And this is the scary part because there is some permanence to this <laughs> and it's all a little bit finicky. But, there you go. Uh, and then 
we can take this piece and there's a little notch on the top and I think that slides in here like that. Hmm. Is that on right? Did I put that the right way? Let me double check here really quick. Phew. Okay, so that is right. <laughs> uh, and, ooh, that's very tight. We can lock that in. I almost thought that uh, these pieces here were supposed to be the other way, um, facing out here, but uh, not the case. Dodged a bullet there, or dodged a bomb, rather. Uh, and then this front piece here goes on like that. Um, and then this can actually go on either side here, depending on your preference. I'm gonna put it here. Um, and this piece uh, just uh, attaches to this like that. It's kind of a, a stabilizer that keeps it secure on the beat em on. Um, and there you go. There is the Mega Grenade. Very simple. It looks very cool once it's all together. Uh, the idea here is that you're supposed to be able to lock this into the synchro grip of the beat em uh, and fire this uh, by pressing the trigger, but uh, there is no chance that you're going to be able to launch a uh, crash weapon bomb here uh, just with that small amount of leverage. So you're definitely gonna need your thumb here. Uh, for example, here is the normal black bomb here. Uh, you kind of need to pull this out just to release the tension a little bit, uh, but it goes in like that. The idea is you can reload this much easier than uh, the original grenade shot here. Uh, it does not have the drive strip, so uh, that capability is lost a little bit, but you had to load this through the front and that was tedious. Um, you get to push this from the back as well instead of pulling back, which means you get a lot more force out of this as well. So let's uh, lift this up here. I don't recall if I can attach this to the beat -em on with this already in place. Just in case, I'm gonna pull that off here uh, and let's attach it to Justice Ifrit. So, locks on just like that. Um, and then this piece, like I said, a little bit of hair on that. Oh well. There we go. That locks on there. And then this locks in to the synchro grip. Just like that. Uh, and yeah, like I said, <laughs> you can already see uh, it's kind of straining. Uh, there is no way you're going to be able to launch this uh, just with that trigger. So uh, you kind of need to press it yourself. And yeah, that definitely packs a punch. And then of course you can just kind of reset it and reload. And that's a whole lot easier than the original. Now the Mega Grenade is so especially sought after because it actually has a female crash weapon connection point on the side here. This is so that you can take the Justice Ifrit Power Wing and attach it purely for aesthetic reasons so that he matches at both ends. But if you think about it for just a second, the implications of this are absolutely insane. I was going to wait until a proper review to show this off, but I'm busy with other things and who knows when that's actually going to happen. Plus, it's probably the reason most of you are here anyway, so let's get crazy. First, I'm going to start with a hybrid cannon, which is simple enough. Not too crazy yet, uh, but then I am going to take a mega grenade without the adapter on the side here, and that is gonna go on just like this. Next, I'm going to take a second mega grenade, this time with the adapter, and uh, put that on here as well, 
And uh, finally, I'm going to take a standard grenade shot and top things off. Do you now understand how stupid this is? I would like to see any crash tower survive a barrage of three consecutive grenade shots followed by a hybrid cannon equipped beat -em on Now maybe I will show that off in a proper review, but for now, I'm gonna leave you with this image. And until next time, this has been Rollout, signing off.